Well, at one point, also quite late in the game, we were redoing the introduction to the whole book. And I think I said to you, Marianne, gee whiz, what anthologists do when they put together an anthology of various poets' work is a lot like what naturalists do when they sort through their collections of specimens. And I think maybe curating has that museum quality yeah. to it. We, may, we make a, um, a parallel in our introduction between Charles Darwin and collectors in general, but naturalists are great collectors. And Charles said, speaks of himself as, I was always a very passionate collector. From the time he was a boy, he collected everything. And that can relate to so many kids. We've gone into in this promoting of the book, we've had more fun. So we were up at Falmouth, Mass, and we had, uh, I guess, our first seventh and eighth grade uh, audience, because usually I'm used to younger children, but this book is perfect for middle schools as well. And by spontaneously, I asked, how many of you have collections? Because we had been talking, well, every hand went up. And they have collections from bottle caps to pieces of soap, to what do they have? Um, oh, shell, um, well, beach, uh, beach glass. Well, beach glass and shells, but they, there were all kinds of other sorts of more offbeat collections, and many of them had many, you know, multiple collections, but it got the children so enthusiastic. I think they really ought to have a collections club. In junior <laughs> high, I remember <laughs> clubs were so wonderful. You know, we had all kinds of clubs. And oh, we should write to the library and there. A collections club would be really wonderful. And then we suggest that readers might want to make collections of their own, of an, an anthology of poetry even, of their own. 